Hello Shelby County Schools family. March felt like one of the longest months in history, but spring is here and we finally entered April. I hope you're staying home safe as we get through this pandemic together. Although we aren't in school buildings, I'm truly inspired by your resilience and commitment to education. I'm excited to announce next week, we'll be kicking off SCS Virtual Spirit Week. Show us your awesome school spirit. We can't wait to highlight the best of SCS. Here's Jericho Phillips with more of this week's updates. On April 1st, quarter three report cards were scheduled to go out, but were postponed due to the district closure amid COVID-19. This week, we shared grading guidance with all SCS principals and teachers who are currently telecommuting. Teachers are now working to finalize quarter three grades for students in order to determine next steps and any needed supports and interventions. In the coming week, we hope to hear more from the Tennessee Department of Education regarding long-term guidance for the school year. We know our seniors and their families are especially eager to learn how this crisis will impact plans. We recently shared an update about graduation. We are still reviewing several scenarios based on feedback from the class of 2020. We look forward to celebrating our seniors' outstanding accomplishments. We moved into week two of distributing learning guides to families. These K through 12 instructional supports are posted online and also printed for households without internet access. Nearly 13,000 learning guides were picked up at meal distribution sites around the city and county. And speaking of meals, our partners at the YMCA have fed more than 28,000 children this week. We are grateful for their commitment to helping us eliminate hunger in our community. We understand parents and students may be struggling with different emotions. To support families during this pandemic, our team has compiled and identified a growing list of family and community resources. We've posted these resources to the district's COVID-19 webpage, and we're frequently sending texts with this information to families. The wide array of supports include internet access, meal services, employment opportunities, financial assistance, and mental health services. We also understand that balancing at-home learning along with other activities can be hard. That's why we've adjusted our homework hotline hours to serve you from 2 to 6 p.m. every day. The hotline not only supports students, but also helps parents with strategies to help their children. Despite tough times, amazing things are happening across the district. Here are five awesome stories to lift your spirits and serve as a reminder that we are SCS Strong. Hats off to East High School teacher, Daniel Warner, who has been recognized as the regional finalist for the state's Teacher of the Year Award. Views on our televised teacher lessons have been incredible, and this academic initiative has been highlighted as a national model for distance learning. Two SES teachers were selected as Music Teachers of Excellence by the Country Music Association Foundation. Congratulations to Adrian Macklin of Cordova High School and Lindsay Mullins of Snowden School. SES Music Director Kevin Carpenter created a virtual choir made up of more than 50 middle and high school students in and around Memphis to bring a glimmer of hope amid the pandemic. And finally, he's no stranger to giving back. Former Grizzlies star Zach Randolph donated $10,000 to provide a new mobile food pantry at the SES Board of Education. Thanks to this generous donation, the mobile pantry will set up in the Board of Education parking lot from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. every Wednesday in April. Families can drive through for a 14-day food supply pack while supplies last. Thanks, Jerrica. I'd like to take a moment to thank our central office teams, principals, teachers, support staff, and volunteers for your hard work to keep our students engaged during this district closure. Thank you to the best school board in the nation for advocating for children and your continuous support of my leadership. Coronavirus will not defeat us. We are in this together. We are 901.